Canvas. So the class description, they build a portfolio, which I'm going to show you what it looks like, of 15 artworks. Some of them are going to be sketchbooks. And then they just do a little bit of writing about them. They need to show these principles, line quality, light and shade, rendering of form, composition, surface manipulation, illusion of depth, and mark making. Other than that, they're going to be using their own concentration, so whatever they choose. So um, first I'm going to show you on Canvas, actually, how, how you can look up the information. So if you go to their main page, you have it in modules. So you're going to see the class lessons work here. Right now they're working on their still life, the sketchbook. They're going to do sketchbook for each assignment. They're signing up for the AP test. Their fee is due before October 30th. So make sure you get that in. It's good for them to take the test because they get college credit and it's really nice to have their portfolio done. And next they're going to do um, an emulation of their favorite artist based on their concentration. Uh, but I want to show you like when they look at their, the website, this is where I have a lot of um, resources for them. This shows their assignments. So right now they're, they should be finished with their still life assignment. They had to make their own still life. And then after this, they're going to work on the one on the master. And then if they don't, if they need more information about how to turn in assignments, they're going to find a lot of stuff on here. I want to show you an example portfolio. So you kind of know what they're working on. So this student, she's actually still going to school here, but she did this last year. So they're going to um, put it in this format. They actually are going to start working their portfolio starting in November. So as soon as they pay, then we can start uploading. So they, they put in their artwork and she did it based on emotions, portraits based on different emotions. So this was from a statue. Then, so they write their process and what they're working on with each one. Last year, we only put in 10 because of the pandemic. So I think they're going to do 15 now. And this was the final one where um, it was like accepting oneself. So it was kind of like all the emotions that someone goes through. These were, they didn't have to turn these in last year because they had to do it by themselves. Then they write a, a concentration statement. So she, she explored phases in which a person feels loneliness to acceptance of their feelings. And then that's it. It's pretty easy. The, um, the other works, they're going to they're gonna do 15, uh, five artworks that just show how they draw and it's going to show the principles of design. But it could be the same ones that they use in their concentration. So that's basically it for that. I was going to show you another example of a concentration. Jenny Lee did self-portraits. So each one was sort of a different part of herself, like how she deals with emotions. These are actually self-portraits. She did self-portraits in a book. Now she has, she's been having shows in Korea, so it, she's actually work, um, showing her work in galleries and she just graduated from college. So it's kind of cool. And then, um, so I just wanted to show you that. And then we're also going to be doing something where they're going to show their photos. I don't have an example of the art one yet on Padlet. So we're going to be doing our critiques on here. And then um, I had them start an account today or the other day. And tomorrow we're going to be going over it. But they're going to be adding their photos on here. And then they're going to share with each other. These are some of my photos. I did this for my photography classes. And um, so it's sort of a closed system. So it's going to be a really good place for them to see each other's work and do critiques. And the way I grade, it's, it's pretty simple. As long as they turn things in, they're gonna be fine. Usually the art classes are really great. So their grades are just gonna be based on turning things in. If they don't turn things in, you're gonna see some very low grades because it, they're worth a lot of points. So make sure that you help them to get things in. They're gonna be doing most of their work on their own so we don't we have so little time in class they're going to be doing a lot of work on their own but i think these kids are really um, capable they're so amazing this year and they all know what they want to do already so i'm very excited about it and then in terms of a show we don't know if we're having a show in person or online depends on if we come back to school we like to have a show usually at the end of the year we have the, a really great art room and we have an ap room where they just love to put all their work on the walls. so We'll see if we can do it in person and we can 
meet with everybody or we might just find an online forum which I haven't found yet and anyway I hope I get to meet all of you let me know if you have any questions you can always email me on canvas or you can email me on Google, whichever way you want to do it. Usually Canvas is pretty good. I check every day. And so, yeah, if you need to know more about the class, you can go here. Also on the assignments, you can see what they're doing. If you go about, about Zoom links, you can see the Zoom links here. And then you can see the syllabus here so if you need more information oh I didn't put it in there yet but anyway I hope to meet all of you and I'm very excited about this year I think these kids are amazing and hopefully I'll meet you soon okay bye